So Dika, I'm Samantha and today I'll walk you through the differences between a re-entry permit and a multiple entry permit. First, it's important to understand that there are two main ways to obtain a Thai visa. One is by applying from within Thailand and the other is by applying from a Royal Thai Consulate or Royal Thai Embassy outside of Thailand. Now let's dive into the key differences between these two types of permits. Re-entry permits are needed for Thai visas that are applied from within Thailand. On the other hand, multiple entry permits permits are generally chosen when applying for a visa from outside of Thailand. One major difference is that a re-entry permit is a separate application from the visa itself, while the multiple entry permit is directly connected to your visa approval. To clarify, when you have a multi-entry permit, your stay will reset every time you re-enter Thailand within the date given on your visa approval sticker or your e-visa approval file, whereas a re-entry permit allows you to return in Thailand with the same expiry date as the visa you originally applied obtained from the immigration authorities. For example, say you have a multi-entry tourist visa that's valid from January 1 to April 1. You enter Thailand on January 20 and get a 60-day validity and leave the country on February 19. As long as you return to Thailand before April 1, you will be granted another 60 days upon entry. So in short, the key differences between a re-entry permit and a multiple entry visa lies on how your stay validity is managed and where you get your visa from. I hope this clears up the differences between a re-entry permit and a multiple entry visa. If you have any concerns or questions related to Thai immigration, please don't hesitate to contact us through the link below. And if you found this information helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more informative content. สวัสดีค่ะ